We have a couple more examples of absolute value equations here for us to solve, starting with this guy. Now remember what I told you in the last video. In order for us to solve an absolute value equation or inequality, we must first get the absolute value by itself. So that is just a matter of us adding two on both sides, like that. So we get the absolute value of 2x plus 7 is equal to 25. And as long as the absolute value is by itself, we can now split this up into our two equations. Now, I hope that you are doing these problems the same way that I'm doing them, and we won't have any problems. So the absolute value is still here, and it's only when I split it up into the two different possibilities do I drop the absolute values. So for an absolute value to equal 25, that's only going to happen when the expression inside is equal to 25, or, what else could happen? Well, if the expression inside is equal to negative 25, right? So if 2x plus 7 equals negative 25, you put the absolute value on it, it's going to give you positive 25. So those are the two possibilities that we have here for this absolute value equation. And then we just take them separately, and we solve them. Starting with this one, we subtract 7 on both sides. 2x is equal to 18. We divide both sides by 2. And x equals 9. But let's not forget about the other solution. Notice I'm going to take the same steps with I took over here. Subtract 7 and subtract 7. Even though the steps I'm taking are the same, my solution is going to be different because I'm starting with a different number on the right side. So 2x equals negative 32. Divide both sides by 2. And x equals negative 16. And it really wouldn't take us too long to plug those back into the original equation to verify that both of these are valid solutions to that equation. All right. Let's check out this next one. Here we have the absolute value of x minus 8 plus 10 equals 3. So just like in the last example, we have to get the absolute value by itself. And so here I need to subtract 10 on both sides. So we have the absolute value of x minus 8 is equal to negative 7. Well, now we run into a bit of a problem, because if you think back to those statements that we said at the very beginning of this section about absolute value equations, the absolute value has to equal something that's non-negative. So when you think about the absolute value, it always returns a positive number, or it can give you a value that's zero. I mean, think about the absolute value of zero, that's just going to be zero, right? But when can an absolute value equal a negative number? It can't. No matter what number I plug into this, I'm either going to get something that's zero or positive. So here, the answer is no solution. There is no value of x that's going to work here. And think about the graph. So if I do a quick sketch of what the graphs look like, the left and the right hand sides, actually I'm just gonna focus on this guy right here. So this piece right here, is going to be shifted to the right 8 units and it's going to have that classic V shape. The other side of this equation is negative 7, so negative 7 is down here and I'd be looking at this. So I've got that V shape, I've got that horizontal line, but where do they intersect? Well, they don't intersect, and if they don't intersect then we would say there is no solution. So watch out for these guys when you come across them in the homework. Now, don't get too excited just because you see a negative on the other side. You can't make any determination about whether or not there's going to be a solution until you have the absolute value by itself.